Hi guys, this is a video about the working of an auto transformer starter. So before explaining the auto transformer starter, first I will explain you what is a starter. Starter is used to reduce the starting current uh, because when you want to run a motor which is having higher HP like more than 5 HP or something, it will be requiring more torque at starting condition. So when there is a more torque, it will draw more current. So in order to avoid that situation or to reduce the starting current, we will be using starters. Here we have got an auto transformer starter. So as the name indicates, it has got transformer in it. So uh, the basic principle what this auto transformer starter is doing is, um, it reduces the voltage that given to the motor initially so that the current drawn by the motor also will be reduced. So initially only this will be done and afterwards we will be giving the direct supply. So initially we wanted to reduce the voltage that is applied to the motor right for that purpose we will be using a step down transformer this is a step down transformer but not like a conventional transformer which has got a primary winding and secondary winding but it has got only primary winding that's what auto transformer but uh, here we have got the tapping so as per the requirement you can adjust the tapping you can adjust to 100 percentage 80 percentage or 60 percentage so here when you um, adjust to 80 percentage that 80 percentage voltage will be coming to the supply so that much current only drawn by the motor so that's what it is so initially we will close this k2 contact k1 contact make this transformer close circuit and supply will be taken from this transformer to the motor and motor will start after 10 seconds or 15 seconds we will open this k1 and k2 contact and close the k3 contact so that directly supply is given to the motor and the motor will continuously run because after some time this motor won't be requiring that much torque because once it starts rotating um, we don't need that much torque to make that rotation continue continuous right so that's why after 10 15 seconds we can uh, switch back to you know uh, we can give the directly supply direct supply or k3 we can close and open k1 and k2 so in order to happen all these things in sequence we have got the control circuit so this is diagram of control circuit diagram here when you push and uh, the start button that time this circuit will close right this circuit will close and the k5 coil got energized the moment when k5 get energized all the coils when it get energized it's just to the opposite i mean it it just close the open circuit or close the it just close the open circuit or open the close circuit what if what if it was normally open it will close it it was normally closed it will open it now when the coil k5 got uh, energized k5 here this was normally open now this will close okay now it's also called a retaining circuit because uh, this start button when you push it sir it it's like a momentary thing it's not a continuous when you leave your finger it's opening but this k5 coil is got activated here so this contact will close and it maintains the current flow that's why it's called a retaining circuit so k5 here it will close and here also we got k5 so this will also close okay right so here we have got a tapping k4 here so the current will be coming to the k4 also k4 is a time delay relay so it's not like normal relay it has got a time delay period so when this got energized that moment this k4 this will close okay and here is k4 no here only so this k4 is closed now the supply from here it can come to k5 and this closed now the supply will be coming to here k1 now k1 got energized the moment k1 got energized it will close here k1 it was normally open now it is closed anywhere it's called here also k1 but it was closed before now it will open k1 got open and here in main circuit this k1 will close okay so the current will be coming to through k1 the current will coming to k2 now k2 got energized this close k2 close this circuit and here also k2 get close okay anywhere else no so now see the transformer it has got a close in the transformer supply all the 
now transformer get close and supply will be getting the transformer this circuit is closed now so through this tapping the supply is given to motor and motor just started now because it's closed every everything is closed now motor is getting current but ready um, motor is getting voltage but it will be drawing less current because the voltage is less so here as i mentioned before this k4 is a time delay relay so it has at like 10 seconds or 15 seconds something as per the requirement so after 10 second what will happen this time delay relay this will close and this will open k4 will open so when k4 open current that is coming to k1 is not there so k1 de-energize so the moment k1 got de-energize this will open this k1 switch the k1 contact here and this was normally open now this will close okay and anywhere else k1 here so it will open here so now here it has become open circuit k1 is open here and and what happened what about here here the supply is coming to k5 okay and it is coming to k1 and it has activated k3 so k3 got energized so when k3 got energized what will happen this will open here right this will open here so it's normally closed before now now it got open here and also this will get closed okay yeah now the condition is what now this has become open now so now supply is coming to the motor through transformer and this got closed now the supply is coming to the motor through the uh, k3 contact now directly getting 440 voltage now the motor will be running smoothly afterwards okay so yeah here the moment when k3 got open that time no current is coming to k2 so here there is no current doesn't matter whether it is closed or not so k2 also get de-energized the moment when k2 get de-energized it will open this contact k2 okay so here also it will open it was closed so it will open here also okay so so finish i think so now k1 this contact also open this also open k3 also k3 closed so it remain in closed position now motor will be running smoothly like and uh, yeah that's all the motor will be running now here nothing else so i think i hope you understood the video and uh, here i used my pencil and rubber so that you can understand which as per the second you know like whichever close whichever open on each time um, i hope you understood the video and if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe my channel and if you want any other videos like uh, related to electrical or mechanical um, please comment below and thank you